Hey, what up, boys? So, Carfin, the looming tower that can be seen all across the Riverlands, no matter where you are, and has piqued the curiosity of viewers for years. What's around it? What's inside? What kind of souls does the tower host? And just how fleshed out is this highly anticipated raid? But before we get into that, sit back, relax, and grab yourself a... Kyopa Kyola, because today, all of these questions will be answered as we explore the Tower of Coffin and the ruins area around it, both during the day and the night, as well as a sneak peek of what Steven gets up to behind the scenes. Now, with all that bollocks out of the way, let's begin, shall we? Oh shit, it changed, it changed. Okay, Overlord. I'm a famous YouTuber, I don't stalk you. No, no, I'm famous, I'm, I'm, I'm famous guy. Am I famous? I'm, I'm famous, they're stalking me. They're stalking me. Uh, okay, let's, let's, let's just slowly, let's slowly push in. Oh my fucking God, I've, I've, I've instantly almost gotten one shot. Okay, they, I've nearly just instantly got one shot. Steven Cherie! What is this game? Okay. Veron Bats. Zombie Thermitage. Oh, what is that? Crystal Golem. Crystal, what the fuck? We'll stay higher in the sky. Yo, look at the tower, boys. Okay, there's an area full of uh, overgrown blue mirrors. Very dangerous. Very dangerous. Okay. Skeleton Knights. Oh, the bridge is loading in. The bridge. Is this the bridge from the live stream, do you reckon? Yes, it is. It's the bridge from the live stream. Is the bridge moving? <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's nasty. What are the vines? Uh, it's, you know, it's corruption. This is where they started. They started down there. They came down these stairs. They went inside this. They came across the bridge, and they looked down at the corpse of this giant creature, and there should be another one down here. Yes, there is. Okay. Yo, look at the atmosphere of this place, bro. What the fuck? Oh, shit. Here's the statues. Yo, what the fuck? Look at this. Damn, they're uh, very high quality, aren't they? Jesus. Do you want to come back here again? after night time falls. So we'll have a look now in the daytime and we'll come back here at night and see what it looks like at night as well. Okay, so it looks like this... Okay, they put a giant pustule on its cock for some reason. Yeah, so I think there's, uh, there's there may be a slight bug. And these are actually supposed to have a bunch of extra textures on them. But if you go close, the textures just kind of disappear. So that's, uh, yeah, it's bad LOD. Yeah, 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 you're right, you're right, you're right. That'll get fixed, I'm sure. Okay, so here's the entrance. Okay, are you ready to see the inside of the Tower of Carpin? Is the Tower of Carpin empty? Was it all fake? Or is the Tower of Carpin poggies and woggies? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, 
Okay, go up, up, up. Careful, careful. There's a stairway! Oh shit. Go, go, go. I've committed now, I've committed. Holy shit, there's a whole fucking section in here, bro. Can I land safely? I think I can. No! Oh. It got me. Is there a way up from here? It also looks like there's a few unfinished textures. God, this I this place is going to look insane when it's finished. Let's try and go a bit higher. It's an alpha. You're a fucker. Let's see if we can get up to like one extra floor higher. So it does look like there is an entrance and like an extra floor above that entrance. But what is up here? I want to know what's up here. Can we go inside this? Yeah, just loaded. Okay, so is this an entryway? Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Sighted fanatic. Yo, there's shit in there, bro. This has got stuff inside it too. Interact. I can't interact with it. Maybe like a teleporter? What do you reckon? Maybe it's a teleporter. Maybe the floors below, eventually I can teleport up and it teleports me maybe to this thing. And then you carry on going through like this. And then there'll be like elites and stuff. Yeah, 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 look, elites. Fanatics, fanatics, yeah, 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 yeah. I think maybe it's a teleporter. Or a quest item. Maybe you need a quest item to use it. Let's see what this floor has. Okay, whoa, shit. Should we go in there? Do we risk going in there? Oh, God. Uh, regret. Uh, regret, regret! Get out, get out, get out, get out. Okay, well, it's, it seems to be pretty fleshed out in there. It seems to be pretty fleshed out. There's lots of mobs, lots of, like, detail, and there's stairway. Yo, what the fuck? Okay. Do we go inside there? Ashen Sorcerer. Okay, go up, go up, go up. Oh my god. Yo, they're like fighting each other, bro. Yo, that's fucking cool as hell. Yeah, like a boss room. You could put like a, a boss here and a boss here and it'd be like the twin sorcerers. Okay, what about going higher? Is going higher possible? Is there any more to the Tower of Carthin? Let us find out. Okay, we don't want to go too high. Let me see if there's... Is there... Is this another floor? There's more, bro! There's even more! How many floors does this place have? Holy! Okay, uh, zombies. Right, yeah, avoid that. Okay, here's the middle. And the middle has got like a... Jeez. A level 30 flesh golem. And there's another one of these things here. Look at that. I reckon they're teleporters. Okay, so if there's a teleporter there, does that mean there's another floor? Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Okay. This, I assume, would be, like, sinew that's all attached to the side of the wall. That's a, a missing texture. Yo, look at this shit, man.
Okay. Maybe the boss stands inside here? Can I interact with this in any way? No, it's non-interactable at the moment. What about the edge? What's this? Is another one of these stones? Interacting with it does nothing. Ah! Oh my god, it's Steven. You scared the fuck out of me. Yo, you alright, Steven? <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna slay me? Listen, Steven. Look, look, Steven. The tower is very pog. N zero critique for the tower. The tower's great. The zero critique. Zero critique. Zero critique. <laughs> There's zero critique. Damn it! That's like speed that bro! That's like speed that Level 50, look at him. Level 50, corruption level oh, three. It's you know the game's a scam. Yeah, I flew too close to the sun. I flew too close to the sun. What we'll do is we'll give it like an hour or two and then we'll come back here and hopefully Steven will go away, right? So that's what we're doing. All right, Stephen Sharif. Uh, we'll leave and we will never come back. We won't show this area to anybody, I promise. Okay? I promise. He's going to res me. Okay, good, good. Okay, he's res me. He's res me. Okay. I had a feeling he might res me. Oh, it's, you know, the game's a scam. Thank you. All right. He wants me to go away. All right, I'll leave. I'll leave. All right, I'll leave. I'll leave. More XP. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. That's four percent XP. That bro. What did you think of the Tower of Coffin? What did you think? Whoa! 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 He's teleporting me back. Nope. Fuck you. <laughs> He's not gonna kill me again. I'll die on my own terms. I'll die on my own terms. <laughs> No, I'm dying on my own terms, damn it. You can't do this. Come on, look. Come on, Stephen, please, 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 Stephen. No, help. Help. Help me. There is a rogue GM killing me on repeat. S save me. Please, I'm begging you. Shit, man. I mean, we need to get away. We need to get away. We need to go. Go, 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 go. Let's get away. Let's get away. Let's get away. Let's get away. No, he's teleporting me again, bro. Stephen, please. Please! I'm innocent! Please! No! No! Land of sight! I'm oh, please! This is a dangerous place. It is indeed. However, this room appears to be missing any form of danger. Except you, of course. I am danger! Oh, but I... I'm a mighty mayor. I'm mighty. You still have a beard. Yes. Yes, indeed. The plan is to remove the beard tomorrow at the start of the stream. As you were right, there is indeed a desert. Okay. I was wrong. Thank you, sir. I appreciate your mercy. You may now leave this tower. Thank you, Mr. Sharif. I shall never doubt you again. Motherfucker. Motherfucker. At least remove the XP there, bro. That was like 6%. The Tower of Coffin was pretty fog, right? You enjoyed the Tower of Coffin? I mean, it was pretty fog, right? It looks like they've cooked. They have indeed cooked. Give it like a six months or a year. Like, give it up to phase two. And these areas are going to look very, very, very polished. And very high quality. I think that's the takeaway. Now, whilst we're doing the nighttime fly through, I just want to give some thoughts on the coffin area and also give you guys some additional context to how this open world dungeon works, because it is far from traditional, even for Lineage 2 standards. You see, the area is broken into two main segments, the ruins on the ground level and the tower itself. On the ground level, the mobs are mostly three-star elites around the level 18 range and are further broken up into multiple grind spots. The most popular grinding spots are at the two entrances, 
games where you pull a couple of elites at a time and AoE them down, as the respawns are fairly fast, allowing groups to efficiently grind XP. However, deeper in, there are other viable grind spots that offer different types of loot and also offer events for an additional boost in XP. You have the choice of the Crimson Garden, a location full of elite blue marias, and an event to defeat the Gardener and his zombie horde. Or you also have the Docks, which is full of undeads and crystal golems, and an event to defeat the Sodden Sailors, or at least I think that's what they were called anyway. Regardless, the whole zone seems pretty fleshed out and offers a diverse amount of content within it. However, Coffin really ramps up when we actually enter the tower, as this is designed for an actual raid of level 25 players. It is full of 3 star level 28 to 30 mobs and likely drops endgame gear. Obviously, as we approach the end of phase 1, we'll come inside here legit with an actual raid and see how far we can get. However, it is worth noting that the teleporters that progress you up the tower's floors don't seem to work right now and thus actually doing the tower isn't intended until later phases. With that said, I'll leave you guys with this one final clip and see you again at the end of the video. And that's pretty much the whole of the Carfin Tower area. Although it doesn't quite reflect what was shown back in 2023, a major system is still missing from the game that actually injects the atmosphere that was shown. The story arc system is planned for phase two, so we'll make a return to the tower later when this system exists to show it off in all of its glory. If you're enjoying this Ashes of Creation coverage, make sure to subscribe as we'll be exploring the desert next to see what future updates hold for us. But for more intimate coverage of Ashes of Creation, make sure to follow the stream over at twitch.tv forward slash Narcobus as we continue our Alpha 2 adventures because we're high on copium.